my name is Melissa and I am with Lisa Brown International. Today I will be showing you how to do a winged liner, how to clean it up and then how to do your classic red lip and make it last just a little bit longer. So you want to start off with a little lip brush, so any brush that has a flat and curved. Also choose your favorite red lipstick, mine is from Maria Cosmetics, it's my favorite at the moment, it's a nice bright red. Red. Please remember to scrub or exfoliate your lips with a scrub so they can be nice and smooth. So I'm picking up some product with a brush just to make sure there is enough on it so that you don't struggle to actually get the product on. So I'm going to start with the little Cupid's bow. So you're going to go from the top of the Cupid's bow and line inwards, almost like you're about to draw a cross. I find using this method is the easiest for me to get smooth lines, so doing it bit by bit. So first you're going to do the little inside of the cupid's bow and make sure that you have the, it similar on the like both sides the same. Then you want to do the other side of the bow. So this is the part where you're going to decide whether you want a round cupid's bow or a pointy cupid's bow. After you've done the bow, you're going to go to the bottom of the lip and you're going to line the bottom so it's a little dip part. After that, you're going to go to the corners. So you're going to, you will decide whether you're going to do a round lip or a bit more of a moustache-shaped lip, which gives you this little cute, like, outside corners of the lip. So first, do the top lip. Make sure that it is as wide as you need it to be. And then move on to the bottom lip. You will have to pick up some more product as you go along, because if you run out of product on the brush, it's going to make it very difficult for you to actually draw your lines. At this point, I was still working on the curve of the top lip. I wanted to make it a bit fuller, so I had to spend some time working on getting that perfect. So now that you have the corners like you want them, you're just going to breach the little gap. So now you only have to cl close that small little space. This is specifically going to help you with getting nice and smooth lines. If you try with a lip liner or even with a brush and lipstick to do one straight line, often it messes up and you end up with bumpy lines and a skew lip. So I feel like this method is the easiest for me to do a lip with because then you just have to connect little pieces and it makes it so much easier to get a smooth line. So if you do end up making little bumps, you can always go in with a Q-tip slash earbud and pick up some of the product and then use a similar brush just to pat some concealer around the lip to make it really crisp. But because I used this method, I had no um, areas to clean up. And then just go on with applying a red lipstick to the center of the lip. I'm using it from the tube on myself because this is my personal lipstick. But if working from a kit, I will use my brush. So adding one layer of tissue over my lips and then picking up some translucent powder or baby powder you're patting it through the tissue. This is going to help mattify any glossy lipstick and it's going to make it last longer because it's going to dry out the product on the lip. So after applying the powder, you would go in with a second layer of lipstick. This is also going to help prolong the wear time of the lipstick. So if you do decide to eat, your lipstick is going to last slightly longer. The powder will also help it to not transfer as much. It won't make your lipstick life proof, but it's going to help prolong the lifespan of it. And if you want to mattify it, it's also going to help. Moving on to liquid liner or to wings. I'm using my 210 brush from MAC and MAC's Black Track. The blacker gel would be from Inglot. I like, I prefer using gel because it gives me a lot more to work with, so I just make the brush very flat on the back of my hand. And I always start on the inside of the eye. So you try and work as close to the lash line as possible first, and then you make it thicker as you go on. Getting the product as close to the lash line as possible is important because it's going to give the lashes a nice black base, so that when you apply mascara, it's just going to make the root of the lash look thicker. So I always go one side, one side, one side, one side, instead of finishing the whole eye, because it just helps you keep the eyes even, especially with something like winged liner, you want to make sure 
you work in stages so that you don't end up finishing a wing and then you can't remember how you created a specific angle. So we're first going to do a baby wing. This is just a little flick and pulling it to the inside of the eye. Sometimes people don't want a wing or a dramatic wing, but this little wing is just going to help give the eye a slightly more lifted look. So this could work for basically any eye shape. So just a flick to the outside and connecting the outside with the inside. Baby wings are nice. I always use the bottom lash line as a guideline for in which angle your lash or your um, wing liner should go. If you have done the baby wing, it's always easier to just extend it to the outside. Pick up some more product. You could do exactly the same look with a liquid liner or a felt tip pen liner. It's all about knowing what brush you're using or what product you're using and how it works. Then going halfway from the wing that you flicked out, you're just following that or dragging the product to the center of the eye. Picking up more product will make it easier to drag the brush, but I just prefer using this gel. And then it's all about going from one side to the other and just making it even. I know liquid liner is scary but it adds so much to a classic red lip look For cleaning up the liner, I like using little bit, bits of a wet wipe or a Q-tip. I prefer using a wet wipe because it just allows you to not do a nice dragging motion. As you can see, I have not done foundation yet. So this is a nice trick for doing your eye makeup first. You could just drag and clean up that under eye area. This is also going to give you a nice flick to the wing to the side. It's going to help extend it and make it a bit longer. So if you didn't make this wing as smooth as you could have, don't worry, you could always clean it up later. Using concealer and a flat brush, I'm just using it to carve out the bottom of the wing so that I can then put concealer and foundation on and just blend it to the rest of my face. There are a lot of different ways to clean up a winged liner, so don't be too worried if it is not as smooth or on the angle that you planned. So just finishing the look off with some good mascara, make sure those lashes are full and then adding a dramatic fake lash or some lashes on the end could just boost your look. 